And welcome to Mike Nice Talk of the Talk. I'm your host, Mike Nice. Today I have the beautiful, talented Misty Copeland, who's also the first African American female soloist in 2007 for the American uh, Ballet Theater. Uh, and also recently did a cool commercial for Under Armour, which was really cool, and I love it. Um, thank you for taking your time and speaking to me, my viewers. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I know a couple of years ago you did an interview and you said one of your goals is to be on top of the dance world. Yes. So <laughs> explain that and how far do you think you are from that? You know, I think that um, in, as a dancer, especially mm -hmm. as a ballerina, you never really reach the top. Right, and right. I think that's what keeps us striving and right. working every day is knowing that there's, going, there's always going to be something to strive for. Right. Um, I feel very happy um, with the place that I'm at in my dancing career. Right. The opportunities that I'm getting with the American Ballet Theater, I think, are kind of along the lines of what I meant when I said on top of the dance world, right, right. or in terms of my own personal um, satisfaction. Right. And I'm getting those opportunities. And that's your passion. That's what's driving you from now yes. to be on top. Just to continue to be better in all mm -hmm. the opportunities that I'm getting and all the roles I'm going to be Juliet, Romeo and Juliet this spring, and I'll be making my New York debut as a Debo deal in Swan Lake. So those are things that I envisioned mm -hmm. um, years ago as being on top of the dance world. Well, congratulations. I know you are definitely establishing your career now, um, and you're in your prime, and you have hundreds of thousands of young females looking up to you, and as well as Mel, as well as me. Um, <laughs> I wanted to know what's more important for you right now to keep the ballet, you know, keep it relevant, keep it going forward, or having more young African American females be in the business. I definitely can't choose one or the other, and I think that everything that I do and and stand for, it all works together mm -hmm. along those lines of, of bringing everything together. Right. Um, and I think that by diversifying ballet and opening up to more people that haven't been a part of it, it's going to keep it alive and growing. So I think it's all in conjunction with each other. Right. Um, so yeah, I couldn't choose just one. Okay. Uh, you know, okay. I, I definitely feel the need to bring my community with me right. along um, on this journey, um, as well as just continue to let the ballet world know mm -hmm. that everyone needs to be a part of it in order for it to continue to right. stay alive. Right. Your book, Life in Motion, I was, what influenced you or who influenced you to write that? Was that kind of therapeutic for you? It was very therapeutic. Um, uh, I thought at some point I would be telling my story. Like from the moment I started dancing, I knew I didn't have the typical um, experience that most young girls experience right, as right, a right. dancer starting late at the age of 13 and just coming from the background that I did, one of six children kind of struggling um, throughout my childhood mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden entering this world. I knew that at some point I'd be sharing it. I just didn't know it was going to be this soon. Right. Um, so it was a combination of uh, Simon Schuster publishing. Right to get this going. Was it fun um, or more of a challenge? I know it's different. Uh, everything. From, right? There were there were moments of um, you know being able to sit back and, and really think about why I made certain decisions right. or why certain people did things in my life or um, learning from these experiences that most people don't really step back in and kind of look at yeah. the very uh, particular instances in their lives. And I think that it helped me to grow in so many ways to let go of things um, that I might be holding on to uh, subconsciously. It was a very therapeutic process and I think important for me to share. Well, I hope you will be publishing more books in the future. <laughs> um, finish this sentence for me. If Misty Copeland did not try out for her dance team in middle school, where would she be now? Wow. Misty Copeland would probably have found her way into an artistic field somehow, because I think that I was born to have some kind of artistic outlet. Um, I think that's what I connect with internally, and that's what has helped me to blossom as a human being mm -hmm. and as an individual. Mm -hmm. Good answer, good answer. Last question, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Dancing, dancing, <laughs> more dancing, um, speaking, motivating um, young dancers, but um, just really focusing on my craft. Nice. 
Ms. Coburn, thank you for taking your time out and speaking to me and my viewers on the Mike Night Show. Thank you. Thank you, guys.